Virgo, hello Virgo, hello. And yes, this is an extra bonus reading for you, for us. We deserve it. You deserve it. Yes, you do. So, let's see what comes up. Virgo. I'm excited. Virgo, I'm excited. Okay. You are in this creative mode. Yes. Um, creative mode. Fiery energy for Virgo. You have a lot of ideas and different kind of ideas. Okay. That maybe you are um, very much looking forward to apply to 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 bring into fruition in your life, in your work, your relationships. Okay, Virgo. Some of you are also dreaming. I have, you have intense dreams. Take notice, pay attention, okay? Some of you are also in the public eye or you're working with, um, with, with groups, with, yes, with people. Virgo. Two more shuffles, two more, two more, two more shuffles for Virgo. One more. And we are definitely ready. Okay. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. Things are shifting. And you are open to change. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. You are determined. You're not wasting time. You're not procrastinating. Full force. Full force towards your goal, your target. Okay. Now, Six of Pentacles. The world. The Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. The Ten of Swords. Something is definitely coming to an end. Something, Virgo, that is not giving you what it used to. Okay? So again... <clears throat> Changing this, putting an end to this, is something that you are very, very much looking forward to. Okay, the Ace of Swords, and it's truth, it's, it is the, tr the truth, and it is, I know. Five of Cups. The Lovers. <laughs> the Lovers, because someone is missing you here, and I saw this uh, for your monthly reading, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm right. Yes? Yes. Someone is missing you. Someone is regretting treat, treating you unfairly, Virgo. Oh, yes. Nine of Swords. Mm -hmm. Okay. Virgo, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, I keep sensing here, and I'm also seeing it with the Nine of Cups and the Lovers, that your desires, your needs, have been changing. Because you are changing, right? Um, you're, you are becoming, if you're not already, a lot of you are already independent. Yes? Um... So, okay, but again, independency, being independent, but again, in a balanced, healthy way, because we need people, yes, we need 
as, as humans, we need to connect, right? To share. But again, with the right people or with the right person. Yes? Okay. So it's all about giving and receiving in a balanced way, in a balanced manner. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. You have changed a lot and no one can deny that. Not even you, Virgo. And again, because you have changed, your needs are also changing. I would say that you are a bit more demanding, if I can say that, or more picky. You have now boundaries, yes, and you have set strong, healthy boundaries, Virgo. Okay. So a lot of you have moved away from a specific individual that you were once very much interested in to get to knowing better or to connect in a deeper level. Yes, you have completely pulled yourself back. You have completely put, sorry, you have completely pulled yourself back from this. It does not concern you anymore what this person is doing, how they're feeling, what they're thinking. They can feel it, Virgo. They do feel it. You're not calling them, you're not texting them. But it's not only that energetically, they feel your departure completely. And this is keeping them uh, restless. Virgo. But again, this is not of your concern. You're not worried about it. You're not even thinking about it. Okay? But it is what it is. Okay, Virgo. Let's start clarifying. And I'm going to start with the Six of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. You see, this is your past. This is a past energy. You being in this position of not realizing your worth. Hmm? Yes. I don't want to go deeper into that uh, because, okay, it's going to be different for each and every one of you, yes. But let's say that you once upon a time reached um, a low point in your life, yes. And you're not going back there. This is a part of you that is gone that is dead. And what is coming through, then this is very important, important. And again, a lot of you have, have done that is, is to forgive yourself. You have forgiven, forgive, forgiven yourself for scooping that low, if I can say that, because this is what I'm hearing, okay? So there is no turning back to this energy of you entertaining low vibrations, low vibrational people. Okay? Yes. Yes, you have healed from that. A lot of you have healed from that with the Four of Swords. So, knowing now your worth, Again, going back to what I said earlier, it's, 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 it's logical for your needs to be different. Your desires, your needs to be different. 
Like, I will give you an example. Let's say that you were okay. <laughs> yes, maybe once upon a time you were okay people breadcrumbing you. You will not accept, accept that anymore. No. You, you, you have done that. You have been there. You have done that. No more. Okay. Just giving you an example here. Five of pentacles, six of pentacles. For Virgo, please. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. <coughs> an emperor. There's an emperor here. And this emperor is this person here with the crutches. For a lot of you, this emperor is this person with the crutches. Okay? This could be... And again, it's going to be different. It could be a boss. A husband. An ex-husband. Someone that you were... Um, putting on a pedestal, Virgo. A masculine energy that you were putting on a pedestal once upon a time. Okay? Yes. You were viewing them as an emperor or your emperor. Yes. This is why, in a way, you, will, you, you, you were settling for less than you are worthy of. Okay? So, but again, as I said, this is changing or it has already changed. Clarifying the emperor for Virgo, please. I feel that it, it's a bit dark. I really feel that, that it's dark. So I will try to fix this if I can. Hopefully I'm gonna, not gonna mess this up. We'll see. I don't know now if it's too bright. Oh my goodness. Hopefully this is a little bit better. Yeah, it is a little bit better, right? Okay. Yeah, yes, okay. There you go. Can you find, please, the Emperor? Now, this shift of yours has been a shock for, um, for yes, it has been a shock um, or a shocking <laughs> people that are in your environment. But also this, this emperor here that is still in your environment or is not in your environment anymore. So clarifying, please, the emperor. Clarifying the emperor for Virgo. Thank you. We have the knight of swords. Yeah, it's like, oh, I did not expect Virgo to treat me that way. Or I did not expect Virgo to, to say that. Or I did not expect Virgo to walk away. Yes, I did not expect that, that Virgo uh, will, will, will uh, so conf confidently uh, um, present herself, yes, or, 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 or demand. It's like you're demanding, but again, in, in, in not in, 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 again, it's, in, 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 it's, com it's coming from a healthy place, Virgo. It is not coming from your ego. It's from a healthy place, okay? It's coming from a healthy place of demanding respect, yes, uh, yes, respect, and, and you honor, you honor yourself, and again, you demand people to honor you, yes, because you honor you, so again, this person, this emperor, is shocked with how you are now dealing with situations, with people, or again, dealing with your own self, okay? You're going, it's a surprise to him, to them, it depends, okay? It's a shock, it's a surprise. Oh my goodness. Now, another thing that I'm picking up, Virgo, is that maybe, maybe some of you are pushing people away. Uh, and you are doing this because they, they it's just, you're, you're not resonating with these people anymore, okay? 
So, yeah, yes, maybe you're turning down their offers or you're not that communicative or you are just like, well, it's not really that you're pushing and pushing them away, but it's like you're keeping your distance. Let's say that, okay? Mm. Okay. Moving on to the world. Completions, endings, new beginnings for Virgo. Also tying loose ends with the world. Yes, of course. Tying loose ends for Virgo, please. Yes. Yes. And we also have temperance. <clears throat> so, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus energy here. But this is a fixed energy. So, it's a fixed energy. So, and, and we also have the Four of Swords, which is a healing energy. So, again, it's like tying loose ends, putting full stops, putting, putting like, um, completing, Virgo, you're completing. Yes? You're completing, you're ending, completing, putting full stops. There's no question marks, just full stops. <laughs> okay. And this is empowering you. And, 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 and yes, in and, and a major way. Okay. Yes. And you are also guided and, and protected by, by God, spirit, your guides, your angels, you can call it whatever you want, but you are definitely guided and protected here, Virgo. Yes. We also have strength here, Leo energy, and you, Virgo, there you are, Virgo, and the star, come on, I can go on and on, the air fund. look. Temperance, strength, Virgo with the king of pentacles and the star, which is totally healing energy that is surrounding you. You're also... Um, providing giving healing energy to others you are let's say um giving the example virgo here because you are living in your in your truth yes okay now i'm very sorry if you're hearing noises in the background okay can you find please the four of swords and the world for virgo Okay, four swords and the world for Virgo, thank you. We have the Virgo, hermit energy. The wise one, the wise one, yes? That is holding the star that we saw earlier in his lantern. Okay, so this is yours. It, it's yours and you're going to use this accordingly. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. So, you're also coming out of, the, of, 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 a, of a, out of your shell. You're coming out of the cave, out of the shell. Okay? The hermit is out of his cave. He's coming out. He's waking up. He's coming out. Hmm? Um, um, hibernate. I'm hearing hibernate. Hibernate, hibernate. Excuse me, hibernation? I don't know. I'm not saying it right. What do bears do? What do bears do? Hibernate. Hibernate. I'm sorry. I'm not hearing it. I, I'm not saying it right. Yes? So you're coming out of this. And it's interesting. It's interesting because if I'm not mistaken, and I'm not, yes, in, in, in the uh, Indian, not the, the, um, um, in, in the Native um, American Indians, um, in, um, we are, Virgos are um, bears. Wow. Yes. Brown bears. I think, if I'm not mistaken, yes. So, okay, yes. So we are waking up hmm? after this, this period of hibernating. <laughs> I hope I'm saying this correctly. Okay, okay. Virgo. Mm. And this is interesting because of the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. And, um, this could also be taking place in your in your career, your finances, your career. Like you are, <laughs> as I said, you, you are very creative. Huh? This is like a, a creative kind of energy that is, is, is like coming in and, and pushing you. It's propelling you, oh my goodness, propelling you to, to, to do things. Yeah? Yes? 
Virgo. Okay. So you'll find the Nine of Cups. This noise is driving me crazy, to be honest. I don't know if you can hear it. And stop now. It's just like... There is a lot that is going on here. It's, it's been going on for weeks, months, and it's just like, when will this stop? Okay. Ugh. So, Nine of Cups for Virgo. Well, nothing lasts forever. One day they will stop, you know, they will, the, the mission will be completed one day. So, okay. The star keeps flipping here. The star keeps flipping. Okay. I'm kidding. The star energy, Aquarius energy, the star with the nine of cups here. Hmm. Let's see. So, Virgo, clarifying the nine of cups. Thank you. We have the eight of cups. Ooh, baby. Ooh. And justice. Karmic justice. Okay? Fair and square. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, baby. Look where you're heading towards, Virgo. Look where you're heading towards. Eight, nine. When we see the eight of cups, what is the eight of cups? The eight of cups is that we are in a situation, a relationship, a job, a friendship, whatever, that we have put a lot of... of, of of our energy, a lot of our resources, time, okay, um, again, because we see the Eight of Cups here, okay, again, once upon a time, it was something, it meant something, it was important, is it now? No. Does that, does this make us happy? No. So what are we going to do? What are we doing? We are moving along, returning to our path of reaching our goal, our Nine of Cups, okay? So you're heading towards your Ninth Cup, Virgo. And again, this Nine of Cups energy is different. My Nine of Cups is different from yours. Yes? Yes. Your Nine of Cups is different from someone else's. We don't want and desire the same things, right? Of course not. I mean, there are some things that we all, all desire, like love, health, prosperity, abundance. Yes. But it's like, in the, yes, you understand. Even though it's the, 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 the main desire, like the, the, it's, it's the same, but it's like mm, different because we are different. Yes, yes. Virgo, we will find please the Eight of Cups with the Nine of Cups for Virgo. Hello, Virgo. Hello, Virgo. Because this is you, King of Pentacles. Yes. There is an oracle card that is coming. Don't chase, excuse me, don't chase abundance. Become that. And this is what you are becoming. This person here, these two people, are begging for justice, are begging for money, are begging for attention, are begging, right? They're begging, chasing, I would say, begging for all that beautiful things. And I'm not saying, Virgo, that you were begging. Maybe, maybe you were. I know I was. Oh, yes, because of my traumas. Oh, yes, I was begging for love, for friendships, yes, well, not anymore. Not anymore. Let it come to you. This is what I want to say. Let it come to you, Virgo. Okay? Okay. So, moving on. <laughs> because this is exactly what we're doing. We are moving on. Moving along, Virgo. So, 
I just heard, I don't know what that means. I just heard like yellow, yellow brick, but I, I saw a, like a, like a path with, with yellow bricks. Is that something's that, something, something. What is that? I mean, I heard yellow brick wall, but no, it's not a wall. It's just like a, a, a yellow like path, brick, whatever, brick, yellow brick path here. I don't know what that means. Sorry, Virgo. I just saw it in my mind's eye. So, okay, that is weird. I don't know what that means. So, hmm. the, the Wizard of Oz? No. Why is this coming through? I don't know, Virgo. Whatever. Knight of Cups. Hmm. Okay. Knight of Cups. This is a message. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You know, I have been doing this for, oh my God, since I was 15 years old. I have been reading tarot since I was 15 years old. And now I am 45, going to 46 years old. And it's amazing because after so many years, still, still I learned something like, and it just comes to me when it's the right time, when, 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 when I know what I'm, I don't know how to explain it. This is Hermes. This is Hermes. And I've never noticed this before. I like, come on now, seriously. There are wings. This is Hermes. 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 Yes. Look, look, he has, Wings on his helmet and wings on his shoes, on his feet. Hmm. And we are ruled by Mercury. Virgos are ruled by Mercury. Hermes. I don't know if I'm saying this correctly in English, like Hermes. 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 I don't know. Whatever. Hermes. Yeah. Whatever. So this could be a message that you are delivering or that you are receiving, Virgo. It has a lot of like emotion, love. Yes, it does. <coughs> but it's it's good. It's 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 a positive message, okay? That uh, you are delivering or you are receiving. Mm. Okay. This could be oh, what is coming through now? Ooh. So this could be someone that wants to deliver a. Uh, an Ace of Cups message to you. I'm really getting that also. Um, let's see, let's see. Because of the Ten of Swords here. And I just like, uh, yeah, yes, look. Look, Virgo, look. See this red fabric, yeah? It's just like, it belongs to this person. I feel that this could be the person that you were interacting in the past. Could be, could be. And they do feel betrayed because again they they were not expecting Virgo to to, to disappear to not look for them to uh, so clarifying please the the Knight of Cups I just okay I'm excited mm. <laughs> sometimes I do get hyper Virgo <laughs> it's it's in my character uh, I don't know. It is in my car. I get hyper. Okay. Virgo. Clarifying the Knight of Cups with the Ten of Swords for Virgo. Knight of Cups and Ten of Swords for Virgo. Yes. Yes. I felt it. Oh my goodness. Yes. Mm. Look, Virgo. Mm, this is not you. This is not your energy. We have the Seven of Swords. 
And because this person was in the Seven of Swords energy, they were coming from that energy, you, you, you turned your back to them. And again, it could be anyone. It doesn't have to be romantic. For a lot of you it is though, but it also could be a friendship. Could be, could be. It doesn't have to be romantic. Mm -hmm. Virgo! Oh my goodness, Virgo. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I can go on and on. Sorry, it's not funny. It is. It's not. It is. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so. This person for, for, okay, for some of you, for some of you, this person was dealing also with someone else. Yes. Maybe it was, maybe it was a, a fire sign. They were dealing with a fire sign. It doesn't have to. Or they had, like, um, other people, um, um, yes, other people were their priority or, or, I don't know. Okay, again, this is going to be different. But, again, this person... With the Five of Swords and the Four of Cups, could be a Scorpio for some <laughs> Sorry. Yes, come on. King of Cups, Cancer by Scorpio. And they, yes, and they are in this energy of the Five of Swords and the Four of Cups. Yes, this person was not transparent. Their intentions were not authentic, whoever this is. And it doesn't have to be a water sign but he is holding a cup, no matter their zodiac sign, they were involved somehow, some way in your life. Mm -hmm. And now with the two of pentacles and the three of cups, I feel that they are considering reaching out. Virgo, but you don't give a damn, um, or, or they, I don't know. Maybe they are just like. But that's the thing, Virgo. You don't care. You want something new. You want something different. You want. Some, you don't want to know anything about this person anymore. You don't care, Virgo. But this person is coming in your reading. It is coming in your reading for a reason. Yes, because the tables have turned. Moving on, please. Moving on. I just want to clarify the Seven of Swords. Really, I want to clarify the Seven of Swords. Thank you. Yes. Ooh. For some of you, this was an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But look again. Can you hear me, Virgo? Can you hear me, Virgo? Yes. Again, we have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Look. Like, listen, I'm not joking, Virgo. Look. I can go again on and on and on and on. Look, I'm gonna come closer. Two of Cups. I'm not, come on. This is like, look, Virgo, look, Virgo. Two of Cups. Yes. You're minding your own business, literally. You're minding your own business, doing your own thing, like um, focusing on your career, your home, your 3D reality, right? Love is in the mind, okay. But it's not your priority. For a lot of you, it's not. For others of you, okay, it's different. Let's move on here. Look, look at you. Minding your own business. Living your best life. We have the Page of Cups. Communication. Invitations. Communication. Look, you see that? Someone has you on their mind. Definitely. They do have you on their mind. Come on, man. Like, seriously. Does it have to be a past person? Mm. No, not necessarily. But for some of you, it is. Mm. It could be also that you are dealing with someone right now, Virgo, huh? someone new that um, wants to approach you to, but they don't know how to approach you. They have difficulties doing that for some reason. 
Let's move on. Let's move on. It's like, hmm. Like they're trying to find a way to do it right for you not to like turn them down or I just heard mock, mock them, but that's not so, okay. Why would you do that? Why would you mock them? You would never do that, Virgo. You would never mock someone. Maybe that's your own fear or own like, I don't know, trauma. I don't know. Okay, clarifying please the Queen of Swords with the Seven of Swords. Queen of Swords with the Seven of Swords, thank you. Mm. Mm. Seven of Pentacles, one more. Mm. Page of Pentacles. You see, as I said, you are in such different kind of vibration at this moment that you just, you, you don't want to be bothered with this kind of like low vibrational kind of like things. There you go. Hmm. You are very much looking forward to plant a new seed and fertile ground. So, obviously, there is no turning back. Like, planting your seed in the same ground that did not give you anything, Virgo. Come on, you're holding a pentacle. The pentacle is a seed. It's something new. And why would you plant your seed again in a ground that is not fertile. Why would you do that? There's no, no, there's no. The answer is no. So, planting your seed somewhere else, maybe you already have found the ground that you perceive as fertile, or maybe you're just still looking for it. Here we go. Ah! Ah, I got goosebumps. Yes, and they're multiplying. And I'm losing control. Virgo. Ah! Yes, the Ace of Pentacles. Because it's like you are now aware. It's like, yes, this is like an instinct that comes and you're like, yeah, you have something in front of you. I'm just using this as a met met metaphorically, right? You see the ground, you smell the ground, and you're like, no, I'm not going to plant my seed there. You just know. You just know. Yes, or maybe it looks good and smells good, but you know what to look for. And you're like, no, 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 no. You're not going to deceive me. This is where I'm going to plant my seed. This is where I'm going to plant my seed. Because my, my seed is precious. My precious. Sorry. <laughs> Virgo. I love doing readings for Virgos. Because you're so loving and giving and you are... How can I say this? It's like... You show so much gratitude. It's just like... I guess it's in, it's, 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 it's in our nature. I don't know. I don't know. And you have been supporting me and my channel for years in many ways. Yes, you have. This is why you deserve an extra bonus reading. Yes, it's all about giving and receiving, Virgo. Yes, giving and receiving. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Six of Wands, victory. Yes, victory. There is victory for us, Virgos. And a new chance, a new opportunity to build a new, totally new foundation or rebuild an existing foundation 
that needs to be a little bit more like, yes, yes, you know what I mean? Uh-huh, okay. Now, if we find the Ace of Swords for Virgos. I really enjoy doing this. Clarifying the Ace of Swords for Virgos. We have the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands, again, is excitement, enthusiasm, childlike, energy, right? Okay? Again, we're trying new things, new ways. Three of Swords. Mm. <clears throat> this is the old Virgo that was attached um, in an unhealthy way, giving the benefit of the doubt, even though things were just moving slow or they were not going anywhere, you were giving the benefit of the doubt um, and you were like giving uh, chances after chances to people or even to your own self. I don't know, I'm just saying here, okay? Clarifying, please, the Ace of Swords with the Knight of Wands for Virgos. Four of Cups. Hmm. Again, this is not your energy here. I have to do something about this because it's driving me crazy. Yeah. Okay. This is not your energy again. Like, this energy, this person's energy is coming again through. Uh, what did I say? Thank you very much, Queen of Cups. We also have Justice here again. So, I, I want to move along from that. <laughs> Seriously, clarifying the Five of Cups for Virgos. Five of Cups, this is not your energy, I'm telling you. It's not your energy. This is your energy. This is who you are. Yes, a strong, independent woman, man, whatever that is surrounded by abundance and prosperity, and you are attracting more. Now again, this could be you in the past. It could be you in the past with this Five of Cups energy. That you have turned, you have, you've, um, you have changed your perspective, Virgo, on, on many, many things. You have grown a lot. And, and again, with the Six of Swords, we're seeing here that you are leaving the past in the past. And you're just like um, letting go of, of, of old like baggage and, 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 and trauma and whatever. You're just letting that go and you're moving forward. A lot of you are also maybe traveling or considering traveling. Or maybe you are planning to travel in the next few months here in Virgo. Like maybe you are starting like searching for your next trip or, or yes, maybe some of you are also traveling uh, because of, of, job, of your job or maybe you are considering like uh, looking for a job abroad. Okay, nice. Do you find please the lovers for Virgo? Do you find the lovers for Virgo? Death. Death, Scorpionic energy, death, Gemini energy here with the lovers. Okay. Now, with the death card here and the lovers, Virgo, uh, some of you are going to meet someone. Oh my God, my nose is itchy. Yeah. Some of you will, I uh, feel that you are going to meet someone new, encounter someone. It's, it's a soulmate vibe that I'm picking up. Um, yeah, this is something that's, it, this is interesting. It's, it's like, again, I don't know if it's going to be romantic, even though we have the lovers here. Um, but it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting vibe. I don't know. I feel that this person could, could open up doors, like maybe lead you towards some, some it's, it's somehow helping you. Like, let's see. Three of Swords and Justice. Again, this Three of Swords does not belong to you. 
And they fell like just near the Nine of Swords energy, so. And I just heard that this person missed a chance with you, Virgo. They missed a chance. I don't know if they're like wondering if you have met someone new or they're just very jealous thinking of you sharing your feelings, your emotions, <coughs> your thoughts, your bed with someone. I could also be that. Because I'm picking up on that for some of you. This is a new love. This is new love. We have the King of Wands here. King of Wands, Ace of Wands, Virgo. I'm also looking forward to that. I'm not going to lie. Because I'm also Virgo, Rising Scorpio, for those of you that don't know. I'm also looking forward to that. To this King of Wands entering my life. Yes, why not? I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready or not. <laughs> maybe I am, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, now that's Virgo talking. I don't know. But yeah, we see here King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Come on. It's in the future. It's in the near future. Okay? Yes. Actually, I'm seeing options in the near future. But yes! Oh, Virgo. Soulmate energy. This could be also soulmate tribe here with the Seven of Cups. Could be. Yes, it's in the future. It's in the near future. But again, I keep seeing options here. And we also, I'm also seeing it's this King of Swords that is away, is far away from you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. They're struggling. They're really struggling because they are in a distance. Like literally, they could be far away or because you're keeping them in a distance. Yeah, at a distance, excuse me. But this is new love here with the King of Wands. A new interest. Um, that could lead to a soulmate. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to say that this doesn't have to be romantic. And it could lead to a wonderful friendship. But it is a soulmate vibe. There, there, this is a soulmate vibe here with this King of Wands. Clarifying the King of Wands, please. Clarifying the King of Wands for Virgos. To find the king of wands for Virgos. Oh, still he's holding a wand for you. <gasps> Two of cups. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. And this king of swords underneath the back neck is like, mm, yeah, really? Well, yeah, really. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Clarifying the Nine of Swords. <laughs> ah, sorry. I know. <laughs> sorry. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I told you this is not you. This is the King of, of Cups here. Yes. Okay. I, I don't have to say anything about this. Because I already said what I had to say. The tables have turned. But again, this is something that you, you're not worried about. You don't care about. It's just karma. It's just like, it is what it is. But okay. Even though I don't care. Or maybe you don't care. I don't care. You don't care. Just I'm going to clarify it. Uh, yes, I will. Clarifying the King of Cups and the Nine of Swords. And I'm going to share something with you. I cannot read my tarot. No. I cannot read my cards. No. No. And um, for those of you that are into tarot, you, you know that you cannot read your own cards. You, you just can't. It's very difficult. I mean, maybe you will get something, but pff, it's very difficult. So yes, as I'm doing this reading for you all, I'm also getting my <laughs> information here so clarifying yes clarifying the king of cups and the nine of swords for virgo please what? yeah yes we have the devil and we have the page of swords 
This person is trying to find a way to communicate with you telepathically, literally calling you, texting you. They are trying to find how they will, how they will do it. Mm, let's see. Can we find this page of swords? Wherever it goes. Ah. Ah. Now. Yes. So, this is, this is difficult for them. Yeah, it's difficult for them. Um, because they view you as the queen of wands. They, they, you intimidate them, Virgo. You, you always uh, did that. They were intimidated by you because you are the queen of wands energy. Um, yeah. So find please um, the queen of wands with the page of swords. And I'm going to end it here. Yeah. I'm going to end it here, Virgo. This is you. This is you. You are the queen of pentacles. You are the queen of wands. You are the queen of swords. You are the queen of cups. You are all the queens together because you are an empress. Yeah. And you are minding your own business. You're building or rebuilding foundations here and keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to pull two cards from my oracle decks here. And yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Don't forget that you are he heading towards your ninth cup. Don't forget that. So, Virgo. Sometimes it does take time. It does take time. And it's not about the destination. I mean, it's not about... What did I say now? It's not about the, 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 the goal. It's, 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 it's all about... Yes, the, 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 the walking, the, the experiences. Yes, because when we reach our goal, when, our re when we reach our goal, then we have to, to another goal to, 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 to go towards. You understand what I mean? So it's not about the goal, it's, 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 it's the destination. Am I saying this right? <laughs> yes, does this make sense? Yes, it does. Okay, thank you. So where it goes? Where it goes? If you like the like, like if you like this, if you would like me like to do each month an extra bonus reading for you, and you're still watching me, <laughs> and you haven't left, <laughs> um, the only way that I would know that you want me to keep doing this each month, like doing an extra bonus reading, is to like I don't know, like the video, comment, put an emoji down there, like. Yeah, this is the only way that I will know, that I will know that you want me to keep doing this each month, okay? Yes, Virgo? Okay, thank you so much. So, let's see. After saying this, where we go? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. So, we have Vulture. Yes. Let's see. For Virgo, please. For Virgo. Mm -hmm. This one was the Phoenix. Let's see. So, let's take a deep breath and relax a little bit. Okay. I accept the impermanent nature of life. I am a steward of earth. Earth sign. It, it is easy for me to think green. I reduce the amount of waste produced in my household. I reuse, yes, I reuse and recycle everything that I can. I leave our planet a better place and in better condition than before I arrived. Are you a conscious steward of the earth? Do you compost, compost and recycle? Is there a part of your life that needs purification? Take responsibility for your footprint on this planet. This is totally Virgo energy. 
learned learn to reutilize re and repurpose items that you no longer need. It may be time to let go of something that is no longer no longer a vital healthy part of your life. Let yourself release and clean out to make way for the new. Phoenix, complete renewal, courage, release. Affirmation, I surrender to my higher self to become what I am. Let your ego and its attachment to control give away to a higher plan. <laughs> Controlling Virgos, <laughs> we are. <laughs> You do not need to protect yourself from outgrowing your previous life and identity. Sorry, I'm going to read that again. You do not need to protect yourself from outgrowing your pre previous life and identity. It is not time to hold on to the past, especially the way you have seen yourself through, <coughs> excuse me, especially the way you have seen yourself through about the world and chosen to behave. You have the ability to truly become a more fearless and vibrant version of yourself and you have the courage within to allow this to happen. You and your life are destined to go through a major transformation. It may push your button at times, but you are divinely protected by a higher loving energy and you will come through the transition successfully. Virgo, hello Virgo, hello. So this is what I got for you. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.